Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Terrence Delane. She was talking about she celibate. I was like, hey, let me help you. Go ahead. I didn't know that the Jehovah's Witness is celibate like that. I'm gonna start answering the door all of a sudden. I'm being my draw. I was like, hey, how long you know Jesus? <laughs> Black folks, we didn't even know what celibate was. I was like, how much? Oh, selling it or celibate? <laughs> Glad to be here, man. Look at y'all. We got some couples in here. Make some noise if you. We gonna see what kind of what, what kind of audience we got here. Single people make some noise. Single people make some noise. Woo! All right, relationship. Let me hear you make some noise. Let me hear. You. Okay, cool. It's one of them crowds. I know. I feel your pain, man. I'm in a relationship. It's date night. You gotta get your date night in. If you don't get it in, somebody's waiting to get your date night. I know. It's a dude at your wife's office that knows your wife better than you. She, he can't wait to take your wife out. He's like, oh, he messing up this week? Oh, I can't wait. You want me to grab your lunch? <laughs> I'm in a relationship, I know. We just made it, we've been together for like seven years. We just made it public on social media, so it counts now, you know what I mean? That's when it counts. For men, that's when it counts. When we start putting you like, when we change our status on Facebook, that's when it counts. That's, that, it's, that, that's better than marriage. <laughs> oh, you put her on the Facebook. O only reason I put my wife on my Facebook is because my, my <laughs> only reason I put my wife on my Facebook is because her mom jammed me up for the holidays. Like I was over my my wife's house for the for the holidays and I was in the kitchen and her mom caught me alone. She's like, "Why you not put that you date my daughter on your Facebook?" <laughs> I tried to ignore it. I was like, "Man, pass the peas. Let me get the hell up out of here." <laughs> I had to change my status, man. As you can tell by the accent, my wife is Asian. She is Asian. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a shock, to, you know what I mean? I thought my wife was Latin when I met her. I met her at the club, and I had a couple of drinks in my system. What a lot of ladies don't know is I speak Spanish, so I try to, like, be different. You know, guys, but hey, what's your name? I, I try to be different when I meet women. I try to walk up and speak Spanish. I be like, <clears throat> hola. <laughs> Como estas? Mi nombre es Luis. Even girls that don't speak Spanish, something about Spanish, it just get the pussy wet. They be like, oh my God, he said a whole lot to me. Men, take notes. If you're single, write that down. You won't be single next year. I promise you. That shit works. I tried that on my wife. I was like, hola, como estas? Mi nombre es Luis. She was like, what that mean? I said, where the hell are you from? I thought I was drunk. I was like, where you from, Nicaragua? <laughs> she, was like, she was like, nah, I Cambodian. I was like, what the hell is a Cambodian? You ever try to Google something while you in the club? <laughs> <laughs> My service isn't that good. Hold on a second. I was like, oh, you from Long Beach? I never knew. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever been to Long Beach, but it's full of Cambodians. <laughs> full of Asians, man. It's a culture shock, too. I never dated a girl from, you know what I mean? I never dated a girl that was an Asian. It's a culture shock. Like, I went to meet my girl's family, you know? Anytime you date a girl from another race and you meet their family, they gonna say something racist. They don't mean to, you know what I mean? They don't know no better. Like, my girl dad, he be saying racist stuff all the time. He be like, he think I look like every basketball player on the TV. <laughs> He was like, what the, the guy that played for the Warriors, he looked just like you. I was like, which, 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 which one played for the Warriors? He was like, you know, Steph Curry. I was like, Steph Curry is 6'5", I'm 5'6". How the hell we look like? <laughs> well, Asians, though, you can't lie to them because they got like a special power, too. He asked me the other day, he's like, what that game your people play like that and you roll it? I knew what he was talking about. But I didn't want to tell up myself. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know. <laughs> but with Asians, they got the special power to look you deep in your eyes and ask you the same question real slow. <laughs> what that game your people play? <laughs> like that and you roll it. And I went into a trance. I started floating off my feet. I was like, <laughs> I was like dice. <laughs> he was like, that's the game. I said, what the hell did you just do to me? I said, teach me that. I don't tell you what you do. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy, man. You got to be careful in Long Beach, man. It's full of Asians. Asians will hit you. 
not just your car, you personally. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys ever got hit by a car, but it's like you, I thought I was like past the age to get hit by a car. I thought that was like little kid activity. You don't just get hit by a car in your 30s. You know what I'm saying? I called myself jogging a couple months ago. I was jogging, I had my headphones on. I was in between the lines and all of a sudden, I, boom, I got hit by a car. Now when you get hit by a car, it just happens so fast that you don't know what the hell is going on. You know what I mean? I got hit and I was like, oh shit. Them shoes look familiar. I was like, oh, them is my feet. What the hell is going on in here? I hit the floor and I scared like I just heard the floor and I tried like all of a sudden I just seen people hop out with their phones like people don't want to help you no more they just want to record everything dude ran over he was like oh snap fam you got hit by a car fam how you feel fam and like I didn't want to go viral for crying I didn't want to go viral for that you know what I'm saying like I need followers but I ain't want my people to follow me for getting hit by a car so I tried to be cool. I got up, I was like, no, it's cool. I'm all right, don't even worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> now you ever wanted to cry and somebody be talking to you while you want to cry? You try to hold the cry in, but the more they talk to you, you just feel it coming up more. You're like, ah. So I was holding it in and the lady got out the car, a little Asian lady, she's like, hi, so sorry. Hi, so sorry for you. Hi, so sorry. I was like, it's all right. Don't even worry about it. It's cool. I mean, it's all right. I was trying to hold it in. All of a sudden she was like, what happened? That's when I lost it. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in no more. I was like, bitch, you what happened? That's what happened. What you mean what happened? You know what happened. I got mad as hell. I'm <laughs> like, what happened? She was like, I called the police, my black side kicked in. <laughs> black folks, we do not like the cops, I'm gonna tell you right now. We will handle it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? She was like, I called the police. I was like, no, nah, don't even worry about it. I walk like this all the time. <laughs> it's cool, I walk this off. Don't even worry about it. I had a big ass Honda sign on my back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The man, just love Hondas. <laughs> they love them Hondas. She tore me up with that Civic, man. The police got there, he was trying to take a report. You know, I wasn't trying to talk to the cops. He was like, sir, so what happened? I was like, I don't know what happened. I don't even know. I don't even know. I was like, talk to her. <laughs> so they across the street and he taking a report. He's like, so ma'am, what happened? She was like, he go that way, I go that way, and we boom. I was like, no, nah, bitch, you boomed into me. Ain't no we boom. <laughs> Try to blame me for you getting hit by a car. It's crazy, man. I just came out, y'all, just came, not came out the closet. <laughs> they were like, what? His sweater is a little tight. <laughs> I just came out, to, I just came out and told my homies I was Latino. A lot of people didn't know I was Latino. A lot of people thought I was just black. I went to a Latino school when I was younger. They didn't really accept me like that. You know what I mean? They couldn't stand me. The girls love me. They were like, oh my God, he's so cute. Look at him dancing. You know what I'm saying? Latin women love somebody that can dance. But the dudes, they be mad like, dude, you're not dating my sister, fool. I'm like, all right, man, you know what I'm saying? One day they tried to beat me up. It was like 30 of them. They waited for me outside my classroom. And they circled me like that. And they were like, hey, today is your day. We're going to beat your ass. And I just started speaking Spanish. Por qué soy como ustedes? They were like, you really want to piss a Latino off? Confuse them. They'd be like, what the hell is going on? You're giving me a headache. <laughs> they beat the shit out of me. They beat the shit out of me that day. I told my mom, send me to the black schools, man. They didn't accept me up here. So all, my whole life, like, that's just what accepted me. My black side was more dominant. Well, recently when the pandemic was going on, I was on a show called Living With Latinos. They was looking for a comedian that could speak Spanish. And you ever been broke and they offer you a job? <laughs> you fit all the qualifications, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were like, we're looking for a comedian that can speak Spanish. I was like, si, si, lo puedo. I said, si, 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 si. They were like, how do you speak Spanish? I was like, mi madre is de Jalisco. Now my best Spanish shit start coming out. When my homies support everything I do, they didn't know I spoke Spanish. So we was at home watching the show, and my homie was like, that's crazy, fam. How you learn how to speak Spanish so fast? Rosetta Stone? I was like. <laughs> so I had to just come out and tell him. It was hard, too, because I don't know if you ever come out the black, but we don't believe nothing about you. You know what I'm saying? I had to tell my homies, I was like, my mom is, my mom is, my mom is Mexican. <laughs> my, my homie was like, Yo, mom ain't no Mexican. I was like, first off, it ain't Mexican. It's not an S in there, it's an X in there. We need to do better about that. My homie was like, I thought your mom was Puerto Rican. I was like, fool, it's Puerto Rican. And she ain't that either, you know what I'm saying? So my homie started getting mad. He's like, what are you more of, though? I thought you was black. I was like, I am black. My dad is black. 
my mom is Mexican. He was like, you can't be both. I was like, why can't I be both? <laughs> like, my dad is from Oakland. It don't get no black in Oakland. My grandma was in the Black Panthers. It don't get no black in that. <laughs> He was like, nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? What are you more of? I was like, I'm both. He was like, you can't be both. You gotta pick one. I was like, well, I gotta pick one. He was like, cause if you go to the yard, you gonna have to pick one. I was like, what yard? I live in the studio. We don't even have a yard, man. Like, I don't even have a yard. He started getting mad. He was like, cause if you go to the pen, I was like, what pen? I use a laptop, fam. I don't even like pen. He's like, I'm taking you home. <laughs> he took me home, he dropped me off, and it's the first time somebody asked me a question about me that I didn't know. I thought, like, I'm in my 30s, I thought I knew myself. It's the first time somebody asked me a question that I didn't know. You ever be high by yourself? Any of y'all ever smoked a little bit and been high by yourself? I was in the house in the dark with a dress shirt on and my drawers walking around like, what am I more of, though? <laughs> I just kept walking back and forth like, what am I more of? In my house, I got like a little vision board. It got my dreams and goals on it, even a whiteboard. I wiped all of it off. Wee, woo, wee, woo, woo. I put a line down the middle. I put Mexican on one side and black on the other side. And I started asking myself like, what am I more of? And it was tough too, because then I started thinking. I was like, man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Because when they come to church, my black side is more dominant. It is. Any Latinos in here? Any? We got any? I, I, thought, I was gonna say, go get the workers. I know them motherfuckers is in here. <laughs> no, I know, because I, I knew we were gonna have a couple of Latinos. Once I found out that Latinos was in Whole Foods, I knew we didn't got in everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> the other day I was in Whole Foods, I was trying to check my produce, I was trying to make sure the mangoes were good. He was like, nah, dog, they're not ripe yet. I said, how the hell you get it? <laughs> I was like, we everywhere. Latinos is everywhere. So y'all know, y'all done been to a Latino church? Yeah. Y'all, that's the most boring shit you ever will go to my line. <laughs> Four and a half hours, five hours, a little pastor, preacher. Same thing, four hours. Levántate. Siéntate. Siéntate otra vez. You be like, Lord, you ain't even in here today. You know what I'm saying? It's the most boring thing you ever gonna go to, but a black church, a black, like a Baptist church, I grew up in Baptist church. That's the most, it's like a free concert as soon as you go, you know what I mean? And I know, and I knew, because I just joined the church, I knew the Lord was calling on me, because I know when he calling on me, because he hit my finances first. So whenever, I go to the, whenever I go to the bank account and it'd be a number I can't take out, ooh, $3.75, ooh, that's the Lord, I need to get my life right. <laughs> I went to a church, and they had an amazing choir. As soon as I walked in, I came with non-participating energy. That's the energy where the, he'd be like, turn to your neighbor, be like, uh, I don't really know him. You know what I mean? I came in there with that energy, but the choir was so good. They was rocking. I will dance like David dance. I will praise. I will pray. You ever try to hold the Holy Spirit in? You be like, oh, Lord, not today. I'm not trying to lose it in here today. And they just start rocking. I just start crying. I was like, I will pray. And then black pastors that get you too, they'll start telling all your business. Like it's a brother in the front who is drinking a beverage that I know the Lord did not partake in. You got like, all right, I'll join. I know who you're talking to. It's me. So I joined, man. It's my first Sunday at the church. But one thing about black church, I'm gonna let all of you guys know. When you go to the black church, you can't let them know all your talents initially when you go. You can't, because they'll get your ass a job. You know what I mean? That's for everybody. <laughs> That's for my white brothers and sisters, too. I see y'all at the church. Y'all been joining. We love your participation, but keep, be careful. You can't let them know that you're free Saturday because they give your ass a job. <laughs> Susan be the first one like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll, I'm available. You, you park in cars all day. you all day. <laughs> it's my first Sunday at the church. I just joined the church. I'm walking through the parking lot. The little kids are playing football. Right as I walk by, the little kid through the football, bow, hit me right in my head. Boom. The kid was so sincere. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I apologize. I didn't mean, I said, man, don't even worry about it, little man. Go deep. Right as I went to throw the ball, here come the lead pastor out of nowhere. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> you have an anointing on your life. I said, who got an anointing? He said, what you doing Wednesday night? I said, brother, I'm, not, I'm busy. He was like, no, no, no. You ain't got to make no decisions today. Whatever the Lord put on your heart. I was like, don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> I got a stimulus, I mean a blessing coming through soon. You know what I'm saying, So long story short, I've been the you pastor for the last two weeks. I need to get up out of here. 
I got some kids to teach a little bit. Man, they got me, man. So when they come to church, bow, my black side is more dominant. But then I start thinking in relationships. When I'm relationships, like, my Latino side is more dominant. It's tough. Because brothers, we be too cool in relationships. Brothers be way too cool. You ever seen a brother in a relationship? Let a girl talk about leaving a brother in a relationship. He be like, you don't give a fuck. You can leave me shit. I came in the world alone. I'm a dying little shit. <laughs> he be on the phone with his friend like, ha, she talking about leaving me. Ha, I don't give a fuck. She can leave me. I'm about to, we about to get it in. You know what's more? It's especially too, when a brother got a haircut. Ain't nothing more confident than when a brother with a haircut. <laughs> he could be bald headed. If he got a fresh baldy that day, he is confident. I took my uncle to Costco. You know, as you leave in Costco, they circle your receipt. The lady was like, have a nice day. He had a fresh haircut. He was like, oh, she want to fuck me. I could tell what she want to do. I was like, she say that to everybody. He was like, man, you're hating right now. I can tell that you're hating. Like, Latino men, we don't let it get that far, though. Let you think about leaving a Latino man. My, my brother right here, he's a Latino dude in the back. You, got, you, got, you in a relationship? Yeah. Somebody, you, you are in a relationship? Sure, sure, sure. He said, sure. He said, sure. You ain't got to be. He said, I didn't bring it tonight. But I didn't. Let the person you with think about leaving you. You know what I'm saying? They need to change the whole mood. You know what I mean? My girl, she can't even pray in the house with the door closed. You know what I mean? I came in the door the other day. My girl had it closed. I bust in and like, hey, who the hell are you here talking to? <laughs> She's like, I'm in here talking to Jesus. I said, what Jesus? My uncle Jesus. I kill everybody in this room. <laughs> Only person more crazy than Latino dudes in relationships, and I give it to y'all, my white brothers. Y'all don't fuck around, man. I seen y'all, y'all fucking pack up. It'll be a fishing trip, the last fishing trip around this motherfucker. <laughs> I give it to y'all, y'all don't fuck around. It'll be the last fishing trip. Y'all be right on the news like, hey, we're looking for you. We just want to let you know we love you. You know where she at. She right there. <laughs> she right there in the extra bedroom, buried under the pool. Well, you know what it is. Like, why did you do it? She touched my finances. <laughs> you know, do not fuck with they 401k. Y'all in that shit, quit. She wanted to take out my 401k. I had to get rid of her. So I'm still confused. Bow, when it comes to relationships, I'm Latino. So it's tough, man. I'm still confused. You know what I'm saying? I'm still confused. Then I was going through, and I was thinking about clubs. Like clubs, like leisure clubs, like dance clubs. What clubs could I go to? Then I started thinking, like, hip-hop clubs? You could die in a hip hop club. I really can't go to hip hop. I'm getting too old. You could die in a hip hop club. I was in the Bay Area not too long ago. I was visiting my family, and my cousins was like, bro, since you're here, let's go out and have a good time. I heard good time. I was like, all right, I'm going to get fresh. We get nice, smell good. We're going to go out, dance, have a good time. As soon as we got in there, my cousin was like, I'll kill everybody in here tonight. I was like, tonight? I don't want to kill nobody tonight. I got something to do tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I wish somebody would step on my shoe. I'll kill everybody in here. Every time somebody walked by, he was like, step on it. I'll kill you. I was like, man, I got to go. Latin club is fun. It's a great time as soon as you go. Y'all ever been to a Latino club? Any of y'all? Yeah, that's an amazing time. My line is $10, whatever Latino club you go to. It come with a corona, too. I don't care which one you go to. As soon as you come in, they give you a corona. They lock the door behind you. One, they got one song playing the whole night. Suavemente, besame. Quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez. Suave, digga, 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 suave, digga, digga, digga. Same song. One time I looked up, the DJ was next to me dancing. I said, you're supposed to be up there. What is you doing? I got hell hostage in the club. Four and a half hours, they will not let you out. As soon as you go in, you're in there. You can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Only thing better than a Latino club is a reggae club. Y'all ever been to a reggae club? Oh, reggae clubs is fun. That's right. You just can't bring your girl to the reggae club. <laughs> I brought my... <laughs> all reggae clubs is overpacked. They got way too many people. If it's 100 people max, they got 300 in that space. <laughs> and it's way too goddamn hot in there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's sweating. I made the mistake and brought my girl to a reggae club. I thought we was going to go in there and dance. <laughs> Everybody is freaking on my girl. Hey, brother! <laughs> I was like, hey, man, that's my wife. You about to get her pregnant. What is you doing? <laughs> Brother, this is poon poon. I was like, no, that's my poon poon. Don't be trying to get my... I'm Terrence Delane. Thank y'all very much, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>